Welcome to Finance Homefront. I'm Craig, your host, and today we're diving into a fundamental concept in finance, yield to maturity, and how it shapes the relationship between bond prices and interest rates. Join me on this educational journey as we unravel the aspects of the bond markets in a beginner-friendly manner. Don't forget to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Just a quick note, I'm here to inform and educate, not provide financial advice. Let's get started. In the vast world of finance, bonds represent a fundamental asset class. They're often considered safer investments compared to stocks due to their fixed income nature. However, understanding the intricacies of bond pricing and its relationship with interest rates can be daunting for beginners. One key concept that serves as a cornerstone in comprehending this relationship is the yield to maturity, YTM. In this video, we will delve into the basics of bond pricing, the significance of YTM, and how it illuminates the connection between bond prices and interest rates. Before we dive into the aspect of yield to maturity, let's establish a foundational understanding of what bonds are and how they work. A bond is essentially a loan that an investor provides to a government or corporation. When an entity issues a bond, it agrees to pay back the principal amount, the initial investment, at a predetermined future date, known as the maturity date. In addition to the principal repayment, the issuer promises to make periodic interest payments to the bondholder over the life of the bond. Let us look at bond pricing. The price of a bond in the secondary market fluctuates based on various factors, including changes in interest rates, credit risk, and market demand. However, at its core, uh, bond pricing is influenced significantly by prevailing interest rates. Imagine a scenario where an investor purchases a bond with a face value of $1,000, a maturity of 10 years, and an annual coupon payment of $50. If prevailing interest rates in the market rise after the bond's issuance, newly issued bonds will offer higher coupon rates to align with the increased interest rates. Consequently, the older bond with a lower coupon rate becomes less attractive to investors. To compensate for the lower coupon payments, the price of the existing bond in the secondary market must decrease to bring its effective yield in line with the prevailing rates. Conversely, if interest rates decline, newly issued bonds will offer lower coupon rates, making existing bonds with higher coupon payments more desirable. As a result, the price of the older bond in the secondary market will rise to match the higher effective yield of newly issued bonds. Yield to maturity, or YTM, is a crucial concept in bond investing as it provides a comprehensive measure of the bond's expected return. YTM represents the total return an investor can expect to receive if they hold the bond until maturity and reinvest all coupon payments at the same rate. In essence, it combines both the bond's coupon payments and any capital gain or loss resulting from the difference between the bond's purchase price and its face value at maturity. Calculating YTM involves solving a complex mathematical equation that considers the bond's current price, face value, coupon payments, time to maturity, and prevailing interest rates. While this calculation can be daunting for beginners, various online calculators and financial software simplify the process. It's important to understanding the relationship. Now that we've established the basics of bond pricing and YTM, let's explore how they are interconnected with interest rates. As mentioned earlier, bond prices and interest rates share an inverse relationship. When interest rates rise, bond prices fall and vice versa. This relationship is intuitive when viewed through the lens of YTM. Consider a bond with a fixed coupon rate of 5% and a face value of $1,000. If prevailing interest rates in the market rise to 6%, 
Newly issued bonds will offer higher coupon payments, making the older bond less attractive. Consequently, the price of the existing bond in the secondary market must decrease to increase its effective yield to match the higher prevailing rates. As a result, the bond's yield to maturity will increase, reflecting the higher return required by investors to hold the bond. Conversely, if interest rates decline to 4%, newly issued bonds will offer lower coupon payments, making the older bond more desirable. Investors are willing to pay a premium for the higher coupon payments of the existing bond, driving up its price in the secondary market. This increase in price decreases the bond's yield to maturity to align with the lower prevailing rates. Now let's talk briefly about the implications for investors. Understanding the relationship between bond prices, interest rates, and yield to maturity is crucial for investors, especially in managing interest rate risk. Interest rate risk refers to the potential for changes in interest rates to negatively impact a bond's value. Bonds with longer maturities and lower coupon rates are more sensitive to changes in interest rates as they lock investors into lower returns for an extended period. Investors can mitigate interest rate risk by diversifying their bond portfolios, investing in bonds with varying maturities and coupon rates. Additionally, investors can employ strategies such as bond laddering or investing in bond funds that actively manage interest rate risk. In conclusion, yield to maturity serves as a powerful tool for understanding the intricate relationship between bond prices and interest rates. By calculating the total return an investor can expect from a bond, Yield to maturity illuminates the impact of prevailing interest rates on bond prices. As interest rates rise, bond prices fall and vice versa, highlighting the inverse relationship between the two variables. For beginners navigating the world of bond investing, grasping the concept of yield to maturity provides a solid foundation for making informed investment decisions. By understanding how changes in interest rates affect bond prices and yield to maturity, investors can better manage their portfolios and mitigate interest rate risk. In essence, yield to maturity serves as a guiding light, illuminating the path to successful bond, investing for beginners and seasoned investors alike. Thanks fellow investors. Please like and subscribe. Let's make some money.